Good morning, Guardians. It is Ebontis here for Nightfall number three. I'm going to be running this one with the Hunter. You guys know it as Cerebus of A versus Valis Tarek. Modifiers, we've got our Berserk. Means the Darkness won't flinch. Mostly just the Shield guys won't flinch. And, like, the Centurions will charge at you. So, just going to be careful. Give yourself some outs to retreat if you need to. You got Brawler. You can punch a lot of things and do a lot more damage. And you can pair that one with the Airborne and get even more. Just don't try and punch a Shield. It's not going to go very far. Also got fresh troops, so you're likely to see taken interspersed throughout it. It depends. It is random for everybody. So you never quite know what your role is going to be. Like, there can be taken in multiple places. The final boss room should only be just Cabal, but pretty much everything up until the boss walks out can have some taken in it. So never quite know. My previous run with my Warlock had a lot of taken. And then my first run with my Titan was mostly Cabal. So never quite know. And of course, Airborne as well, uh, if you can get that Airborne perk. Especially when you fire rockets, try and be up in the air when it impacts, and then when those little, you know, wolf pack rounds come out, you'll get more damage from all of that, so it's a nice benefit. As for my build, I'm going to go Gunslinger. i um, going to go Celestial Nighthawk for that bonus damage, mostly for the boss, more than anything. Uh, if you want to go something like this, Aclophage Symbiote, before the boss, and then switch over to that just so you can pump that huge shot into him, that's totally cool. Um, pretty normal build, Hung Jury, Sniper... Gallahorn, got my Icebreaker back up, so if I do get to a point where I run out of ammo, at least I have some pretty powerful shots that I can pump into him. And then for my build, it is pretty standard. Just going to go with Incendiary Grenade for that explosion for the bigger burst. Uh, Deadeye for that improved accuracy and bonus damage. You can go for Explosion earlier, but definitely make sure you got Deadeye when you get to the boss. Uh, you can go Gunfighter for reducing the cooldown, also an option. Um, you've got incendiary blade, so if I do throw it at somebody, it'll catch fire, do more damage, mostly for the boss, again, if I get those throws on him. Battle recovery and toughness, full toughness, as always. Um, not really too worried about Deadeye, the enemies seem pretty spread out, or keyhole, I mean, so that's not going to be all that beneficial. And then over here, the range of the golden gun, you shouldn't be doing too much that's outside of range, unless you get to, like, the tank and you want to make sure and check that one. You might bring it up here just to be safe. Bonus throwing knife if you want it, but I'm just going for the reload speed, may as well enjoy that one. So as I said, the extra shot from Aclophage Symbiote, that'll be nice throughout the run if you need to kill more than one more than one enemy. But then of course when you come to the boss, Celestial Nighthawk, probably going to be your biggest benefit for sure. Outside of that, pretty standard. Two out of three done so far. Let's see how we can do on this one. So here we go. Let's find access to their system. Alright guys, as soon as you launch in, make sure you jump on that sparrow and get moving quickly. You might have some enemies up here. If you have a group run in the nightfall, you may not have that many enemies. You may be driving right through a battle, but all you're trying to do is come over here and deploy your ghost. If somebody deploys the ghost, that's good, but if they deploy it for you, that doesn't count because they're in a different instance. So you got to wait for them to actually move. Come on, ghost. Now you got to deploy yours. You're in a different instance. If you're with your group, they can do it for you, but if you're by yourself, you definitely got to take care of it on your own. So, I wouldn't spend too much time killing the guys out here. It's not really going to be worth your while. Now, if you've got a grenade that you can bounce right there, jump up in the air and try and cook some of those guys. Watch this Colossus. He will try and slam the ground. You know, can be a bit painful. And hey, just for the sake of a thousand points, I'll go for the kill on him. Should be able to finish him off fairly quickly. And then just watch as enemies are spawning in behind you. You're going to have quite a few coming in. If you pick off the easy ones, it's no big deal. Again, I wouldn't spend more than a minute out there is kind of all I'm saying. So as you run on, on up, we'll see if I get any ammo boxes, which would be nice if I do. Got some rockets ready. Make sure I'm reloaded. See if it's going to be nice to me and give me a heavy ammo box. Not today. Well, that kind of figures since I'm already loaded up. So at this point, just going to take out a few of the big boys. Legionnaires should go down fairly quickly. You'll have a Colossus over on the left. And some of those guys will be hiding in the back. Now the big one you do want to again take out is this Colossus. He's going to be back there. So you can get a grenade back there. Maybe get some nice bonus damage. Ow. That stings a little bit. And again, jump up in the air when that thing hits. Should be able to get a nice bonus damage on him. If I get a throwing knife, again, that works well, because throwing knives can, are considered uh, melee, so you get that nice bonus damage on the throwing knife. So keep that in mind if you're going Hunter as well. I got a few Phalanx over here. They're going to be a little annoying. Looks like I've got something else that's shooting some rockets at me too. It's going to be the Centurion in the back. You want to definitely watch for him. He's going to be a little painful. Nice little rocket though. Should take him out. 
Why am I not getting my uh, wolf pack rounds? This is really weird. It's like I'm not seeing him hit. That wasn't close enough. Man, I'm just not following my way right now. I'm wasting way too much time in here already, but I'm just trying to kill these couple guys so I can have a reasonable run at the side over here. I don't have a heavy box to go get. I cannot believe that. There, finish him off. At least use some rockets. I'll pop a heavy ammo synth here shortly. Now, these guys are not so bad. Now, the scions all hitting you at the same time gets a little painful. So just be careful. Now, what I'm trying to do is just get to this upper ledge so I can work one or two of these guys down. Of course, the phalanx make it a little on the difficult side. That's the one I'm really working on, is that centurion. And of course, he is down, this dude is down, should be in pretty good shape. Now when you come up here, you're going to have a few guys down below. You're going to have a Colossus down here. Again, if you can get that bonus damage. I'm going to go Golden Gun at this point, just finish him off. See if I can finish anybody else. And we'll just drop, drop down, grab some ammo, and run on through. So, got most of the big guys here, about 10,000 is never too terrible. Wait for the door to open to get any more shots as the guys do come through, and then run on through the door. Now, I do want to pop a heavy ammo synth right now because I likely will have taken in the next room, and there's an important reason you want to have your rocket up. There's going to be a blight that spawns, and you want that thing to go down really quickly. Four minutes is still not bad, so it's not too shabby. Again, just trying to make it through here relatively quickly. Now, it looks like I hear the taken spawning. So, when the. Nope, I don't. I've got the Colossus. Now that is a nice big old yellow Colossus. He's going to be fun. But at least he won't respawn, which is nice. So I can save my rockets a little bit for the distance. And I'll have the change. I've had taken here like every time except this one. So just keep that in mind. Keep working him down. He's going to have plenty of rockets. Use that little shield there as some nice defense. And work him down. I've had taken here every time. So it'll be good you guys see something different. Still have a little blight bombs though. Run on through and just keep going. You can pick a lot of things off from out here, actually. Scout rifle and sniper rifle is going to serve you pretty well. So just look for those Centurions as they're running around. These Legionnaires will come charging up at you. Scout rifles do wonders. Quit running, you little jerk. Thank you. Now again, you'll have a Colossus out in the middle. Got a Centurion back there, though, so jump in the air when that thing's going to hit. Make sure and finish him off. One big Centurion up here. Should be a nice way to finish him quickly. And then again, these guys do tend to hide back down once you get them. Now, if you can tag them with damage of some kind, sometimes you can. Sometimes you can actually shoot their little wings. These little things right there. It'd be great if I could actually hit one. Yep, you'll piss them off enough to kind of wake them up. It's usually a good way to finish him off. Now you've just got the Colossus out here in the middle. Again, Galahorn's going to be a nice way to get that initial bonus, and then I would just probably snipe him to finish him off. Be great if I had the ammo to do it. Keep it going. And you'll have one more in the back. Now that's going to be one of the guards that you need to kill, one of the three. So look over here, see if you got anything left. Looks like I've got one little baby phalanx down here, which is not a big deal. I did get some ammo drops, which is nice. And watch for those little blight bombs. You'll have a couple dudes down here. If you can throw a grenade down there, maybe we'll get a nice little nice little bonus there. Just keep working them down. I cannot believe how annoying those failings are. Now again up here I've got my two rockets. What I'm trying to do is just get one back into that room. Did not even get that much damage on him, so Sniper Rifle is really going to be your way to go on this one. If you can get a headshot, it's always going to be a nice bonus. Just barely by a shield. What is shooting me? You? Really? Messing up my sniper shots, you jerk. See if you can finish him off. If you can, again, try and look for those headshots when possible. He's going to be annoying. Like, try not to miss. Wait for him to stand still, maybe. Are you kidding, dude? Like, wedge in a corner where I literally can't shoot you. 
All right, well, time to get a little up close and personal here. I'm gonna try the old uh, grenade in your face method. And I got one up there too. He's got a little guarding buddy. Son of a... Ah, oh, come on. Cannot get a good angle on this jerk. I almost don't even want to waste the rocket, but... Yep, keep shooting him. At some point he will go down. When he goes down... I don't know if you have to deploy your ghost in here or not. Otherwise, I would probably tell you guys just to retreat. There's going to be a ship coming in trying to bomb you. Just like that. So you got to move through here quick. And you're going to have plenty of stuff coming in. Running back here is definitely the safe way to go. You could pick up one of these little, you know, ships. Use them. But you're going to have plenty of stuff out there. And I probably don't think that one's going to work as well for you. So just start picking these guys off. You'll have this one running up again. Another phalanx. Another annoying guy. And just look around, see what dudes are out there. Legionnaires, again, not too shabby. But again, you got the one dude up top. Going to be really annoying. Now you are going to have a Colossus. Keep that sucker in mind. But he's only red health bar, so he's not as terrible. A couple Legionnaires. These are going to be Majors off to the right. And you're going to have a Centurion down there, too. As these guys come up through the rocks. Hopefully I can get them with a rock. Got one of them. Now, honestly, as I'm out of ammo, this is actually a reasonable time to switch over to Icebreaker. Doesn't help when you switch from an exotic to an exotic. Yeah, now I can use my Icebreaker to start working on a few of these guys. Probably not a bad idea for the tank if I have that as well. Yeah, I've got another one back there. But at least this way I'll have some stuff that I can use, and it's solar on the captains. At least use that to drop your shield down. See if I can finish him off before he gets in hiding back there. Almost done. Almost done. There we go. There's one down. Got a couple sniper shots. Always gotta love that sound and that explosion. It's a lot of fun. Move that head. Ah, still immune. And always moving on me too. Can I get a grenade up there in there? Nope. Way, way, way too high. Who shoot me now? Just you? Just you, your little scion butt? You might have to go golden gun to plow through these guys, so let me finish off these last couple of scions. He is freaking immune, his shield is... Oh my gosh. This is just not going well. I can't even hit him. It's ridiculous. There's a good chunk of damage, finally. Goodness gracious. Yeah, so these guys can get a little annoying on Berserk, that's for sure. Oh, and they're going to be up there together? That's so cute. Just snipe his, snipe his little uh, arm there. It's all I can see. There's at least one shot that hits. And that one hits just about as hard as my Irene, so that Irene still really good sniper to have. Oh, come on, turn around. You guys are just a special level of annoying right now. Just wasting my time more than anything. Run over here, see if I can get a different angle at this jerk. Is he still back there? See if I can get a grenade back there. How is that really? I mean, everything is on fire. Shield's on fire. Quite the shield you have there, Val Moog. Again, if you just gotta pump some damage into his gun, go for it. And that'll be the three. So once those three are down, looks like I got some sniper ammo, but I don't really need it. Got one phalanx waiting here for me. I can switch back to my Galhorn at this point, pick up some sniper ammo, not so bad. So here, galley. And probably going to go Heavy Synth, use that one, pick up my ammo. And looks like I've got the Anomaly this time, so you guys can see a nice little variety. Had a little mix of, like, every run here. For the Anomaly, again, just jump on that Sparrow, drive right by that little uh, Blight Dot there, and then drive back in up here to where you're back in kind of a safe area. And you can work everything else from here. It's kind of the main area to work from. 
Now up here occasionally there's going to be one uh, hobgoblin that spawns behind you. So if you're working from up here, just listen for that spawn. Come over here. Nice little jump stab. Quick way to knock him out. And then from here you're going to have fun guy. So what you might want to do just so you can see him is throw a grenade down there. Get that bonus damage while he's in the air and you can actually see him when it's on fire. And get some nice work going on him. Now again, as I'm mostly in boss mode at this point, uh, I'm just going to hang back here for a second and switch my helms. So I can be maxed out and wait for that dude to spawn. So again, and then also one thing you can do, if you can get him to stand still for a minute, which sometimes is not always possible, try and get that throwing knife bonus damage. I wasn't even close enough. But again, that jumping airborne bonus is always a nice benefit. Now he's going to be shielded at this point, so you want to try and take out a few of these goblins down there going to be more of an annoyance than anything. Now we're just going to go have some fun, jump up in the air. Here's a good chunk of damage, nice 160 from the airborne bonus. And then if he's not being shielded, I can work the rest of them down. Those goblins though, man are they fun. Now watch behind you, likely to have this guy spawn up pretty soon. Still get a couple angles on him occasionally. There he is. And again, just a quick jump stab kind of got to get that timing in your head. It's like once a minute, it seems. Now, if he's getting shielded, again, try and throw a grenade. Something down to take out whatever's shielding him. There's going to be a few, so try and get that grenade down below. Take out a couple of them, and then keep working them down. Still getting shielded, huh? That's why this one can take a little while. It's a little hard to get those crit shots, too, sometimes. Now, to speed things along... Let me just go a little, uh, let's go ahead and make sure I don't die from this guy. And he got his little triple shots up. Alright, so most of the guys should despawn, so jump on your sparrow, and then if you got any ammo down here, which it looks like I was nice enough to get a little bit, grab that and then drive on through. Now this is a slower run than my previous ones. Uh, decent on points, you only need 52, the boss will be worth 5. So keep that one in mind. Um, but yeah, I think I finished my last one with 11 minutes and I'm definitely not going to finish this one that quickly. So, uh, depends on your own, just depends on your time. But getting 52 shouldn't be too terrible. I ended up with 60 with my time bonus, so getting to 52 shouldn't be, shouldn't be too bad. Um, but you gotta, you know, use some heavy ammo sense if you're going for those time bonuses, especially by yourself. To blow through some of the guys quicker, you're just going to have to blow some rockets. It's just kind of required. Down here, I wouldn't spend too much time outside. Just drive straight through here, turn around the corner, and where you're going to get your points anyway is going to be in here. Those guys are all normal. You're going to have some majors and stuff likely to be in here. Now, I keep having taken in the last couple runs in here, so for sake of, uh, well, what do you know? And, of course, they did that. Why wouldn't they? They're going to take a rocket in the face. How's that? Enjoy. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, these guys are just really pissing me off now. Gonna get a stab and get out of there, if I can help it a little bit. Still go for that jump stab and try and finish him off at least a little bit. Now, if you're in the bubble, I'm doing that jump stab just because I do get extra bonus damage that way. I do have a heavy ammo box down there, which will be nice. So enjoy the fact that you've got some extra heavy, blow through this a little bit here, and it's a nice way to get some bonus points as well. So have a few guys down here, I get that rocket behind him, he'll at least die. Knock out a couple legionaries. Now the reason I'm spending time in here is because you can get a pretty good amount of points from this section, and it's really not that difficult overall, especially if you have some rocket ammo sitting down there, you may as well clear it out so you can pick it up. If I can kill this guy before his shield pops back up, that'd be amazing. Now, if they want to jump up to you and die, I'm not going to argue with it, that's for sure. Probably going to have a few stragglers down here, somewhere. There we go, a little bonus there. I've got one more rocket that I can use over here. Should be able to finish him off, pick up my... Uh, Heavy synth, and you'll have a couple guys left in the corner. Now, these will basically just spawn when you get close enough. Now, you can use, like, a throwing knife if you want on them. 
That's always one way to finish one of them off, and then you're going to have that one tortured failings. Wait for him to drop his shield. A couple sniper shots should finish him off fairly reasonably. You only got a heavy crate or heavy box. Why not? Now what you want to do is get full health up in here. I've got rockets and stuff, so... How is an Axiom Bolt already coming for me? Really? Give me my health back. Why is my health not respawning? So when you come out here, um, what you want to do, again, be careful. As you switch your... Uh, switch to toughness and speed, and then all attributes for that full agility. That's going to help you get up to the top. It's still hard as a hunter, but that should be able to help it happen. You can get that grenade on him. That'll drop his shield and make that part a little bit quicker. Now again, once that Centurion's down, you'll have a couple Scions. Now, if you don't take them all out, you can actually use them being alive as a chance to uh, run over here and get a little closer so you've got a little more time to make this jump. Again, keep one of them up, maybe. Try and get my health back, but for some reason my recovery is just weak sauce right now. Alright, so now I'm going to run up to the top, and I'm going to try and make the jump. Give yourself a little extra time to do it. Find those guys wherever they're at. Maybe bounce that grenade, but again, trying to get up here. Get as high as you can on this little ledge, while not getting totally picked off. God, these guys are on fire right now. All right, are we done? Are we done? Seriously? They just keep spawning, like, perfectly. There. All right, so now the boss is going to come out. You want to get up here as high as you can, then it's one, two, three, and then try and push yourself on the ledge. If it doesn't happen, you got to do this a different way. So if it's going to be the other method, don't worry about it. He's going to come out. He's going to know you're there. Now, if you're back here, one thing you can do is go for... Take a minute... And you can go for the rocket fun, and then you can go for... And you can go for shooting him with rockets, which will get some nice damage on him if you get that airborne bonus. And from back here, you should be able to dodge most of the enemies that spawn in. Just keep pumping through these rockets pretty quickly. And then I'm going to go for my bonus on before I go in hiding with my golden gun with Celestial Nighthawk. Now, make sure you've got Deadeye switched on, and make sure i got Celestial Nighthawk on. So that's going to be some bonus damage. Should go pretty good chunk in his health, honestly. Now again, what you can do, wait for him to run across. Now you can wait a little bit, but if you pop that golden gun, what you want to do is try and jump in the air, get that shot into him, nice 200,000 chunk, and then you want to go run in your box and hide. And when I say my box, you guys know exactly where I'm going. Back here in the ramp, and then hide back in the corner. Now, I already did enough damage to pull him back this direction, which is really helpful. Speeding this one along nicely. That's where that golden gun airborne shot for 200,000 is really going to pay off. So, Celestial with that bonus damage. Again, that throwing knife being pretty useless, but I can pump some sniper ammo into him right now. Now, the minigun can make it through that crack, but again, he's not going to get all the shots through. Just watch your health as it goes through. And just try and pump some damage into him. Actually can go pretty quickly here if you get him pretty well set up. But then once he starts to run around, it gets a bit crazy depending on where he ends up. So that's a pretty good run there. Looks like this dude is just going to be my buddy. Grenade, jump in the air for that explosion. Try and take out any of those stupid phalanx that are standing around. And again, those explosions are going to be nice. Firefly has its benefits. Now again, once you're wedged in this corner, I would potentially not risk rockets. I just ran through this once and was almost done, and then I was just basically one rocket too close killed me. So just be careful with that. I'm trying to throw a grenade out there. Try and get what you can damage and get in the air for that bonus. And then just keep working some damage where you can on it. Just watch your health. You can peek out over here, maybe get an angle on him, or you might get an angle on the phalanx. This dude here is just really pissed. Not doing a whole lot to me, but I'm not really getting my health back up either, but at least I can take a couple of these guys out. Ah, oh, they are annoying though. Of course, it's got to be Berserk on Cabal. That's why I was like, kind of an okay thing that there was not a Cabal raid, because if they ever put modifiers on, that would have been rough. 
And again, missing that throwing knife. And the grenade. Man, I'm having some terrible luck right now. I got some ammo out here, though. This is dumb. Keep moving and running. Keep moving and running. Gonna go for a couple rockets up top just because I can get a decent angle. Nope. Hide back down. Run back up. Just going for that angle. And hiding back in my little box. Still got seven minutes and I've only got like 6,000 more points to get. Shouldn't be too bad time-wise. Just don't just don't wait till the complete last minute. That's all I can kind of say. Again, these phalanx here. Try and get that grenade in there. See if I can kill them that way. Grab my sniper rifle. Also, what I'm trying to do is wait out and if I can get my sniper shot up, that'll help me. Not my sniper, my golden gun shot. That big golden gun shot should be able to finish him off. If he doesn't get to me first. Careful. Alright, so I'm going to go for the gold here. I just want to get full health up. Looks like I've only got one or two enemies out here. Not too shabby. So, pretty calm at the moment. So, try and dodge him, and I'm going to go for the death from above. I'm going to basically go for it here. So, duck down. I'm going to go golden gun. And we're jumping up in the air for the finisher. And that'll do it. Six minutes to go. Cycle of light done, and we are finished. Sunrise bounty. Still ended up 60,000, so I got a nice bonus and points there, and we are done. So there's another gold tier medal with the hunter guys. You got Celestial Nighthawk, that airborne golden gunshot is going to be really powerful. Use that a couple times, should be good. Finish out with a couple dance moves with my Nighthawk helmet on. Looking pretty. Looking pretty fancy. Try and get max if you can. So whatever I get should be 400, and let's do it. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed that video, drop that like down below. If you guys want to subscribe, always know that content is coming. Subscribe to my channel, but hit that little alert bell. That'll give you guys those email notifications as well. And thank you guys as always. Wonderful, I got strange coins. Last thing I need, because I've got like 1,800 of them. So, well, not the most fruitful week on Nightfalls, but it wasn't the most terrible either. So back at it for the Nightfalls for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Uh, check out my other videos here, my other couple Nightfall runs. I've got links to those right here so you can see them. Um, yep, just subscribe and I will keep the content coming. Going to be playing some Horizon and Zelda will eventually be coming. Just trying to figure out when I dive into Zelda because I don't really want to play anything else when I start. So, talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.